next video we are going to learn how to install react native into your windows 10 using your react native cli so installing react with expo is easy we have to just do this command but there is a little bit of complication with when installing with react native cli because this documentation for installation process is outdated and it will not work uh, even some some process some stuff are not working so I'm gonna show you the way you can install React Native CLI in the Windows 10. First of all, install this chocolate package manager or Choco. There is a separate video for this. In there is a separate video for installing this. This is a really important process and there is also an issue with installing the Choco package manager. You don't have to install node install separately, Python separately, and JDK separately. This will create your error. So just install Suco package manager and use this command. So after that, download Android Studio for, from my Android, this link, and then you have to open your Android Studio. It's my Android Studio. Android Studio, then go to your SDK, SDK Manager, this is SDK Manager, sorry, where is it, this is SDK Manager, then inside Android SDK, install Android 9.0 Pi, and click on this, and also Click on here, so package detail, and then step this one Intel x86 Atom 64 system image. If you don't select this, the system your React Native will not work. So do that, then go to your file, then setting, then Android system setting. Then Android SDK and then open this, copy this, then go to your this, then right click properties, this PC, then right click properties, then advanced system setting then environment variable then in here create new and add android underscore home then variable path this is your stk path just copy this and paste it in here here type android underscore home i've already added that so i'm not gonna do that android android underscore home then variable map variable name paste it this path then click OK. Then it will be appeared there. Then also this, I click on this path variable. Then edit it. Then create new. Then add a path. I have already added my sticky path. So when you follow the documentation, it says the by default path is this, but this part it will not work. The major issue is here when you create you're installing the Ignatius CLI. So just go to your Android Studio, then the same path I previously shown you, file, file, setting, then system path setting, then Android SDK, then copy this. Then close it, then press Ctrl R, then paste it here, press enter, then it will open on your file explorer, then go to your platforms, platform underscore tools, then copy this link, copy this URL, 
then go to your path variable path variable edit it create new copy paste it and okay press okay so that will be set up in your environment variable you are done with it now let's go to your documentation so we're done with process in here till here so let's create a new application for this if you are using git bash and copy paste this it will not work on windows 10 you have to open powershell as administrator and go to the uh, location where you want to install and just copy paste this so after that CD into your project so after that CD into your project this project name and then don't do this do this npm direct and if at if run android and but before doing this run your emulator so I'm running my emulator run run your emulator then run this code so after running this code your app will be run in your emulator as this it is this is so as you can see there is a little bit of changes in UI comparing to expo app of react native so this is a so if you go to your code After this, you can see this is a little bit of changes of any code compared to React Native Expo. So this is how you set up your React Native CLI in Windows 10.